ProMotion NG comes from a many decade heritage of programs created specifically for pixel art creation. For this reason, its user interface and potential workflows are a bit different from the much more commonplace programs more geared toward photographic work and high-resolution digital art creation. Here are the most important things to know before diving in. Erasing. Today most image editing software has its origin in photo editing, where erasing is not crucial to a fast workflow, so they offer a separate erasing tool that must be selected to use. These software packages were often designed around Mac computers, which typically had no right mouse button to take advantage of in the first place. When creating pixel art, the second most useful function, right after drawing down pixels, is erasing them. After all, careful control and placement of every pixel is what pixel art is all about. For decades, pixel art-specific programs optimized workflow by simply making the left mouse button always draw, and the right mouse button always erase. Drawing. Once you've created a new project or loaded a work in progress, just left-click any color you want to draw with and then press the D key or click on the freehand drawing tool icon in the toolbar. Now left-click anywhere on the canvas to place a single pixel or hold the left mouse button to freehand draw. You can use the right mouse button to draw with the second color. Just right-click on any color in the color palette and you'll be selecting your erasing color. Now you can alternate between drawing with two different colors simply by using their respective mouse buttons. Once you have artwork on your canvas, you can quickly select new drawing colors directly from your art by either pressing the comma key or holding the control key and left or right clicking depending on whether you want to set your primary drawing color or erasing color. When actual transparent erasing is needed, just right click on the small transparent color box near the top left of the screen where your currently selected colors are always displayed. Now that you know how to draw with colors from the color palette, you need to know how to edit or add custom colors in the palette. Keep in mind, classic pixel art uses what's called indexed color modes, which means the only colors that can be displayed in the art are the exact colors in the color palette. Each square representing a single color in the color palette is called a color index. In indexed color mode, the image files don't store the full color data for every pixel. Instead, it just records what color each color index in the palette is set to, and records what color index each pixel in the image is using. For this reason, when you change the color in any color index, any pixels in your art that use that color index instantly update to your new color. Just left-click any color index in the palette and then use the R, G, and B sliders to adjust the color for that index. If you left-click any color index to select it and then press the C key and then left-click on any other index, it will copy the original color you selected into the index you just clicked on. If you left-click on an index, then press the R key, and then click on another index, it will create a gradient from the first index you clicked to the second one you clicked. Those are the most basic ways to use the color palette, but it's all we'll cover for this video. We'll make a tutorial dedicated to the palette in the future. Paint Modes Left-click on the Mode selection in ProMotion's menu, and you'll see a large list of drawing modes to choose from. Take the time to experiment and familiarize yourself with all of these modes. To keep this video brief, we'll be sticking with translucent mode. Let's press D to enter the basic drawing mode and select translucent in the modes menu. If you click the text box showing you the current level of translucency, a slider bar will appear for fast adjustments. Let's quickly do the same for the brush size slider and make our drawing brush a bit bigger and begin to draw with the left mouse button you will see a translucent effect is created, altering the underlying art instead of just replacing those pixels with your currently selected color. It's very important to note that due to this being actual pixel art in indexed color mode, any of these drawing modes can only use any of the exact colors in the other indices in the palette to create these effects. No new colors can be created. For this reason, the resulting quality of the effect depends completely on how suitable the colors in the palette are to create those effects. 
If you need to overcome this limitation to perfectly emulate the translucent and blending effect seen on consoles like the Super Nintendo, the solution is to use normal drawing mode to create the things you want to be translucent on their own dedicated layers, then set that layer to the specific effect you desire. Just click the Add a New Single Image Layer button in the Layers section, press the F2 key to make sure you're back in the standard drawing mode, and draw your object in the new layer. Then use the Mode drop-down menu in the Layers section to change the blending mode of the new layer. You can then use the text box or slider to the right of the mode selection to adjust how visible the layer and its effects are over the layers beneath. For translucency, just leave the layers mode on Normal and slide the effect level for the layer to achieve the level of the translucency you desire. You can see that blending modes for layers do not limit themselves to any particular palette or color indices. Gradients. Press the F key or click the flood fill icon in the toolbar. Let's click the gradient select icon, select a gradient, and then in the mode drop-down menu in the tool and paint settings section, choose linear gradient. Now you'll see if you left click in the canvas, that area will be flood filled with a repeating horizontal gradient where the first color of the gradient is horizontally positioned where you clicked. Now let's press Ctrl Z to undo this fill and instead of left clicking, we'll click and hold the left mouse button down. You'll see a dotted line appear, originating from where you initially started holding the left mouse button and going to the current position of the mouse pointer. Once you let go, the area of the screen you clicked on will be flood filled with your selected gradient, which will now follow the size and angle you designated with the dotted line. Selecting. The lack of an obvious selection tool in the toolbar tends to be the most surprising difference between ProMotion and most other graphics programs. While similar results and fast workflow can be achieved with ProMotion's different approach with the brush pickup options and stencil modes, we're in the process of adding a standard set of selection features to cover all needs and satisfy the workflow desires of those already used to well-established selection tool norms. Pressing the B key or clicking the brush grab icon allows you to grab any portion of an image or layer and it instantly becomes your current brush which you can paint with. While it's your brush, you can horizontally flip it with the X key, vertically flip it with the Y key, rotate it in 90 degree increments with the Z key, and perform many freehand transformations to it via the brush section in the menu. Check in the description of this video for a link to a previous video which explained brush grabbing at length. Stencils and color masking. You can protect one or more colors from being affected or painted over by clicking the stencil icon near the bottom of the palette section, then left clicking on any of the color indices in the palette to protect that color. You can deselect any of the colors you set as protected by right clicking it. You can invert which colors you have protected by clicking the Invert icon and clear all selected colors by clicking the Eraser icon. You can also select colors to protect directly from the image itself by clicking the Water Dropper icon and then left clicking in the image on pixels with the colors you want to protect. You can even left click and drag to quickly select multiple colors to protect. Now you'll see when you draw, any of the pixels in your artwork that are displaying any of the protected colors won't be affected by any of your drawing tools. If you select Selection, Create Selection by Drawing from the menu, then left click and drag in the canvas, you'll be creating a selection or adding to the selection instead of drawing colors onto the canvas. The right mouse button will subtract from the selection. When you're ready to use your selection, reselect the Create Selection by Drawing menu option to turn selection drawing off. You can click the Enable Disable Selection icon in the toolbar to toggle whether or not the color selection stencil you just set up is active. Be sure to watch our other quick tip and tutorial videos and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions regarding features or potential workflow. Thanks very much for watching.